That being said, moving on to coin. F tier right away. I don't like it. <laughs> I never did it. I never will. Another month, another tier list. Don't forget to leave a like. It helps out a lot. In a world where once a month we rate crypto projects on a tier list, one man tries to rate them all, the inspector. This month we will rate crypto gaming tokens based on four categories. One, tokenomics. Two, earning sustainability. Three, price action. Four, how much the inspector likes the project. Remember that this series is a very biased, non-objective, sort of my point of view series. Because crypto is, after all, about debates and picking favorites. Where exactly on a tier list you put a coin or a token entirely depends on individual opinion, on market conditions, on your specific investment goals and risk tolerance. Alright, let's get this show on the road. First thing out the box, we have The Sandbox, one of my favorite crypto games, a metaverse, and their coin called Sand. Now on most tier lists, I put Sand on the S tier. All the parameters that I rate crypto games on, it deserves to be on the S tier. It is very sustainable the way they do their earnings, it's very fun to play and... And as far as how much Inspector likes the project is concerned, well, he likes it a lot. Now apart from that, we also have the price action to look into this time, how it is going right now. Look at it on the daily chart, it is looking mighty fine. Going over to the one month chart, it looks like it lost its bearish momentum as did most of the market. The sandbox has a total supply of 3 billion and a circulating supply of 2 billion, meaning that currently they have 2 billion coins in circulation and they will have 3 billion in total once all the coins have been minted. Current market cap is sitting at 600 million US dollars, putting the price of the coin at around 0 0.29. We have a lot of coins, a lot of tokens to go through today, so in order to not waste time, I do believe that the Sandbox and their Sand token deserves to be on the S tier. They're doing an amazing job. With that being said, moving on to the second coin on today's list called Ronin. Now, Ronin is not a crypto game in of itself. A Ronin is a crypto network. It is a blockchain gaming network. Their coin is called Ron. Now, with 300 million coins in circulation and a 100 million market cap, they have a higher price than the Sandbox, with almost five times less money in their market cap. The run started in January of 2022, and from there they have been constantly going down, almost constantly going down, so they have started in the bear market, to be fair. So it's a little bit difficult to judge price action when the coin hasn't even gone through a proper bull market yet. So with games like Pixels, which I have mentioned in one of my previous videos, as well as Axie Infinity, which uses Ronin as its Ethereum sidechain, I do believe it has a lot of room to grow, a lot of room to shine. And while I'm not the biggest fan of Axie Infinity as far as the gameplay is concerned, Axie Infinity has been around for a very, very long time. Ron is not an S tier for me at this moment, I'm not convinced, but it is a very, very solid A tier for Ronin. Moving on to Immutable X, uh, which is one of Ethereum's sidechains as well, and it allows other games to have NFTs inside of their games without even having their own blockchain. So it's the same as Engine, we'll also rate Engine later and kind of see the differences between the two. Apart from Gods Unchained, Illuvium will also use Immutable X as will Guild of Guardians, a lot of games we're looking forward to, and of course, Gods Unchained right here, my personal favorite. Now, as far as price action is concerned, looking at the one-year chart, it doesn't look too bad. Let's be honest here, it doesn't look as bad as some other coins we've taken a look at so far. Either way, with a circulating supply of 1.2 billion, total supply of 2 billion, and a market cap of 650 million, very big market cap already, I can still see growth in Immutable X's ecosystem. Immutable X is not a coin you can earn in games. Immutable X is used in order for games to access the blockchain, to have access to NFTs and the Ethereum network without having to pay crazy gas fees. So, very useful. Not not S tier, definitely A tier, less than Ronin though, in my opinion. Moving on to the next one, which is not an ecosystem, this time we have a game, Mana. Mana is the coin, and the game is called The Central Land, very similar to The Sandbox. It actually predates The Sandbox, and it's available to play right now on your browser for free. In my opinion, Sandbox is much better than The Central Land. Take it as you will, it's just my personal opinion. Now, on the daily chart, it looks good. So this was the price action in the previous bull run of 2021. It reached a high of 
$4.8, currently sitting at 0 0.3. With a market cap almost the same as the sandbox of 530 million. Mana is a very solid coin. If I was to rate the central as a game, I would most likely put it on the B or C tier at this point. I'm not convinced that I will play the Central Land in the future. I do like the poker they have, I do like the Central Land's poker, but apart from that, I'm not the biggest fan of the Central Land game, but I am a fan of the coin Mana, and for me, Mana is an A-tier coin, less than Ronin and Immutable X. That being said, moving on to ApeCoin. F tier right away. I don't like it. <laughs> I never did. I never will. But okay, let's analyze it a little bit before I just place it on F. Came out at the beginning of 2022. Uh, reached a high of over 20 bucks. Now currently sitting at $1. It has a 400 million market cap, absolutely huge market cap and a total supply of 1 billion coins with circulating um, a little bit below 400 million. All right, that being said, token metrics puts the fundamental grade of this coin at 43%, the valuation grade at 4.5%. So definitely not a coin that the AI of token metrics wants to invest in. Uh, it's not a coin that I want to invest in. It's not an ecosystem I like. They have made so much money with their NFT collection and they try to make a game to try to make a coin in my opinion they're not doing a good job I'm not a fan of what they're doing inside of their game I think they're just winging it and they had a lot of money and they were like yeah okay let's make a game we have the, all, all this money let's try to capitalize on this I can respect it I don't have to like it apecoin F tier moving on engine engine is another project which allows different games to have NFTs on their game without actually even having their own blockchain so that's what engine allows engine absolutely huge big 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 fan of engine it's one of the first coins that i've ever seen and researched before even getting in crypto gaming in 2021 so circulating and total supplier the same all coins have been minted and 211 million market cap uh, and now looking at the price action, of course, it went through the bull run at 4.3 bucks, currently sitting at 0 0.2. All of that is fine. All-time growth, 768%. So as far as price action is concerned, this is a very, very normal chart. Nothing abnormal about this at all. As far as the investor grade goes, it is 72%. So already the AI thinks it is a much better investment opportunity than the Ape coin with a fundamental grade of 76%. And even has a technology grade of 75% because, of course, Engine has some great technology and some great games being built with engine or rather with engines help games like nine lives arena a game that looks really really good just a very solid ecosystem very solid project and i'm personally a very very big fan of engine for me engine is s tier material I don't know if you guys are gonna agree with this or not. This is my personal opinion. I can't stress that part enough. I absolutely love Engine. Moving on to possibly the next coin that will be the F tier. Let's see. This is Floki. Now, I can't help but think that this started as a meme coin project. It most likely did. Floki. Elon Musk named his dog Floki on Twitter and... As soon as he did that, a couple days later, maybe even the same day, the Floki coin appeared out of thin air. It has a supply of 10, what even is this, trillion? I think this is 10 trillion. And a market cap of 184 million dollars. Now, they're known to pay influencers a lot to promote their games. I've never been paid by them. I have taken a look at their game Valhalla, and I didn't like it very much. Now, as any meme coin, it can go up and down in a very volatile and furious way. Way. But let's check out the investment grade from the AI. It says 66%. So the AI thinks this is better than the ape coin as far as investing goes. I'm personally not convinced. Uh, with a 16 million 24 hour trading volume and 184 million market cap, it does not look good. Um, I'm not a fan of their game, not a fan of their project. I do like me some meme coins. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like when meme coins become too big. Anyway, I'm just not a fan of it. I still think it's better than Ape, but I still do think it is F tier material. So it will absolutely stay there on the F tier. Moving on to Illuvium. Illuvium, which uses Immutable X as their sidechain on Ethereum, but also Illuvium, which has their own coin called ILV. 6 million circulating coins with a market cap of 236 million. Current price is 40 bucks. Now, I have to say I am invested in Alluvium and I also have to say I am down on that investment. Ever since I bought it on a much higher price, it's been steadily going down. So I may be a little bit biased here. I definitely don't want to put Alluvium 
on the S tier and I definitely don't want to put Illuvium on the on the A tier but it might deserve to be A so let's dissect this a little bit Illuvium has a good ecosystem in place they have a staking mechanism in place that I have staked for over a year the problem is that the staking is directly on Ethereum and if you if you bought let's say two coins when the price was over $1,000 a coin, which it was, in the bull market it almost went to $2,000, you stake those two coins and now a year later in the bear market when the price is 40 bucks per coin, so you have $80 in total now. Let's say you got 0.5 worth of Illuvium tokens, which would be in the middle of the bull market around 500 bucks or more, but currently worth 20 bucks and you want to withdraw them on Ethereum. And Ethereum asks you to pay a 20 bucks gas fee to withdraw your 40 bucks of Illuvium. You see where I'm going with this, it's not ideal. And yes, it is what happened to me, I made a very bad mistake, I didn't know that the bull market was over, and I thought Illuvium was gonna boom, very much so. I did add more Illuvium to my bag at around 50 bucks, so even that is still at a loss, but <laughs> that's besides the point, it'll go up eventually, it's a good project with a very good team. I'll do this again when I'm in profit, currently I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not a fan of the Illuvium coin. Alright, the AI gives it a 43% rating, so I was, I was right here, it gives it a 43% rating. 37% uh, technology grade and 48% of a fundamental grade. I have no idea what these are to be honest. I <laughs> Come on, we're, we're just having fun here. Moving on to Wemix, coin that everybody's familiar with. If you've ever played Mir 4, it is what Mir 4 has used in order to withdraw and earn money in their game. All-time high price, 21 bucks. Remember that time? That was a sweet time to be in Mir 4. Currently sitting at below $1, not looking too good is it but then again very normal price action when it comes to bear market pricing 270 million market cap 320 million circulating supply there's more we mix to be minted but let's see what our ai says oh the ai hates it it is 40 percent it has a good fundamental grade but apart from that the ai doesn't like it very much i'm not invested in we mix at all uh very unbiased when it comes to rating we mix now now apart from mere four and withdrawing coins on mere four i have not use Wemix too much so I'm very neutral when it comes to Wemix so I will put it just next to Illuvium right here it's a little bit weird seeing Illuvium here like this I, I am heavily invested in Illuvium at this point I want it to do amazing uh, but I just, I just kind of want to put it on the beat here for now because I'm at a loss uh, for my Illuvium trade it's mostly because I did a bad job um, if I didn't look at that at all I would probably put it at the A tier but you know I still have to make this tier list at least look nice I can't have too many coins on the A tier and I I do like mana more than alluvium and that's also funny because i'm not invested in mana at all um out of all of these coins i have engine and i have alluvium that's it but anyway a little bit of a controversial opinion is always good for views right moving on to wax another token similar to engine similar to immutable x if we look at the all-time price it almost looks like a freaking rug pool a 98 percent down all time that's what happens when you have a pre-sale and early investors sell but looking at the one year chart has a pretty healthy up and down cycle but let's look at it at token metrics uh, 3.7 billion total supply almost everything has been minted with 180 million market cap that's why the price is 0.05 us dollars per coin but let's see what our ai says our ai likes it a lot it likes it more than alluvium it is 64 percent good fundamental grade not bad not bad technology grade as i said i have no idea what these mean but you know uh, I, I i can guess what the technology grade means it's like how good of uh, technology does the project have uh, actually what the AI thinks about the technology of the, of the project of the token that we're researching and also the fundamental grade now the valuation grade I'm not sure what it is I really am not but as far as the fundamental grade like the fundamentals how good are they what does the uh, AI think how does it compare to other ones so 64% uh, I'm gonna take that into consideration when rating this um now I'm not using wax for much I have used it a couple times I don't even remember what games I used it for but I remember there's games like alien worlds and a couple of other games that do use wax there's a game called the land box which is like a blatant copy of the sandbox it also uses wax uh, it looks exactly like the sandbox how <laughs> how dare you how how dare you just copy and paste it man I oh my god yeah wax C tier uh, undeserved maybe I don't know just not not a big fan of wax 
Um, I, I don't use it very much. I'm very neutral towards it. If I'm neutral towards it, I'm gonna, gonna, go, gonna go with B, like Wii Mix. And then if I don't like an aspect, I'm gonna put it even even lower. If I don't like two aspects or more, I'm gonna put it even lower. But then there's coins like Alluvium that I put on the B tier that would have been on the A tier if it wasn't for the ridiculous price action and, you know, the, the big fall off. But anyway, moving on, last but not least, Gala Games. All right, Gala, let's see. I'm excited to see what our AI friend is gonna say about Gala. But let's first look at the price action, peak of the bull run. 0.74 dollars currently 0.013 dollars or also 815 percent all time ever since the launch so pre-sale investors are still in profit if they have not sold but they would have been stupid not to sell around the all-time high of course when the all-time high comes you can't know that it's an all-time high so a lot of people do miss it that being said all right let's see what our ai friend says 40 percent not good very good fundamental rating apart from that nothing's very good now um, as far as our ai friend at token metric says doesn't doesn't like the valuation it doesn't like the, the technology but it does kind of like the fundamentals so all of that 40% I'm gonna take that into consideration I am a big fan of Gala games but I am not invested in their coin where should we put you Gala I would like to put something on C so it looks better but Gala is not C um, Gala is a B tier very very solid solid B tier uh, I am a fan of this tier list I think this is good I, I would have preferred to have something else on the C tier uh, but the way I do this tier list I don't plan on where I'm gonna put the games or the coins or whatever we're rating uh, before I do the video I just do it uh, real time as I'm recording so this is my list this is my opinion at this moment in time I do want to see Alluvium move up there as soon as the price action gets a little bit stabilized I want to see it on the A tier um, as far as everything else is concerned Concerned. I don't want any projects to be bad really I don't want anyone to have a hard time to have rug pulls to have bad things happen to them but they do unfortunately they do uh, the two meme coins in a way in a way ape is also a meme coin it's not considered a meme coin but in my opinion it definitely should be um FDR just not a fan of those two projects uh, I am a fan of meme coins overall don't get me wrong I'm just not a fan of these two particular projects all right there you go thank you for watching inspector out peace